Hey folks, John here, Old Hickory Forge. Welcome back. Apologize for not uploading any videos lately. Like I said, I'm getting ready for a show that takes precedence, and uh, you know that's why I haven't been making a lot of videos. Shield project that I promised is in the works. I'm having to adjust fire on making the rim a little bit. My plan didn't work as well as I thought it would, but I've still got all the footage, and that video will be coming out soon. Uh, 5,000 subscriber giveaway video is going to be coming up pretty soon, so stick around the channel. Keep liking, subscribing, all that jazz. But what's going on today is we're making some leaf pendants. No blacksmithing channel is complete without a leaf video. So if you don't know what that is, something along these lines right here. You know, just a little necklace. Looks like a leaf. But they're a good project, a good, uh, you know, way to uh, grasp the fundamentals like tapering, isolating, drawing out, texturing, all that jazz. So stick around and uh, I'll show you how it's done. Starting with a piece of half inch square, first thing you want to do is forge the taper on the end. And you want to start from a high angle. Turn 90 degrees and use kind of glancing blows. And what this does is it forces the metal back in on itself and upsets to create the taper versus if you just lay it flat and drew out, you'd end up with a really long taper and you want a short one. Just keep working that taper down until you get a nice point. See what I mean? We got a nice short taper. So. Now we want to isolate the part that's going to actually become the leaf. You really don't need a whole lot of material. There's more in a bar a half inch square than you think. So I usually come about a quarter inch past the end of my taper, use the edge of the end, go. Turn 90 degrees. And this up here is what's actually going to become our leaf and we'll draw our stem out back here. So. Once you got that first set down done, carried down to about half the thickness of the parent bar, you're going to come to the near edge of the anvil, about to the end of that taper, do the same thing, using the edge, turning 90 degrees. Now you see the beginnings of what's going to become our stem. Now it's just a matter of going back and forth between these two set downs and drawing out the material you need for the stem. Next step's flattening down what's gonna become the leaf. So you wanna turn uh, the corner that's to the inside of your stem, you wanna turn that up and then just forge it down. Nothing to it really. I kinda like a longer leaf, so what I'll usually do is take the cross peen and spread it out lengthwise a little bit. And then start bringing the material out to widen out the leaf. See what we got going? Then it's just a matter of forging the leaf down to its finished thickness. Controlling where the metal goes so the leaf looks like you want it to look. Now it's time to texture the leaf. The way I like to do it is just with a small cross peen. Just go up and down both sides. I've gone ahead and removed the leaf from the parent bar just to make drawing out this stem a little bit easier. So that's all there is to it. You know, just draw out the stem to the length you need. It can be kind of awkward to handle because it's small and oddly shaped and none of your tongs really fit it. But you'll get there. So, for the final texturing of the leaf, what I like to do is go in here with a chisel and create a vein running down the center of the leaf as well as three veins on each side running down at about a 45 degree angle. Every blacksmith makes their leaves differently, so this is completely optional and how you want to do yours is up to you. This is just how I do mine. Another thing I like to do with my leaves before I do uh, the final shaping is chuck them up in the vise, take a chisel, and go in at the end of those veins I made and just cut into the leaf about a quarter inch or so. And I'll do that on both sides. You'll see why here in a minute. Then you take where you made those cuts and use the post vise to fold them back over onto themselves. You don't want to just hammer it flat because then you might just upset them and you could damage the texturing. And that makes, see if you can see, those cute little notches in the sides of the leaf. So I'll do the same thing over here and then we'll move on. Now 
then we'll just bend this stem around into a cute little loop. Another two it really. Then you want to take you a high tech block of wood, get from the back with a ball peen hammer, you want your textured side facing down. And what this will do is shape the leaf into that nice cup shape, give it a pretty curve without damaging the texture. See what I mean? So, then you just want to give it a good brushing. Clean off as much of the scale as you can. Punch it off for a couple of seconds just to get it hot enough for the wax. And just rub it down with some beeswax. This gives us that nice black oxide finish. Helps make the metal more rust resistant. <sighs> so there you go. This is the one I showed you at the beginning. Here's the one I just made. With practice, you can make them, you know, pretty alike, pretty repeatably. So, anyway, just a pretty easy beginner level project. Uh, like I said, good exercise and fundamentals. And they do tend to sell pretty well if, uh, if you do shows like I do. So, there you go. How to forge a leaf pendant. Like I said, uh, sorry for not uploading a whole hell of a lot lately. There's going to be more cool stuff coming soon. So, stick around, keep liking, sharing, subscribing, all that jazz. Y'all take care.